Hi guys, all right. I'm going to do a chat video again to the. This is take two of the chat video. The first chat video was a bit an all out and out rant. Um, I realised playing it back that it was basically just a bashing video, and I'm not as much as I want to do that at this juncture. I don't feel that that is the right way to go about it, and I just feel that that's gonna not win me no favour. The reality of the situation that I find myself in at the moment is one of disappointment and slightly, I have to admit, jealousy. Um, I've just recently watched Steve Benway's Raspberry Pi Experience to Friday Talkie, which, again, a fantastic Friday Talkie, as always, usual stuff. Um, he went through his trials and tribulations with his Raspberry Pi. I haven't gone through any trials and tribulations with the actual item. The trials and tribulations I've gone through are with the actual company who's dishing the gear out, namely RS Components. I want to make it clear to anyone who's ordering a Raspberry Pi they do, that they don't order it from RS Components. If you are going through the midst of an RS Components order, I strongly advise you cancel it. Go on Google, search for our cancellation. There's actually an order form that you can use to cancel your order. I placed an order with them a month and a half ago. I have received no automated message, any indication at all of what my order number is, or the fact that they may even have had my order in the first place, other than a PayPal receipt to the tune of about £40. I bought a Raspberry Pi and various accessories to go with the Raspberry Pi in the hope that it would come when it's ready. I was fully aware of the delays. I have no issue with that. I have no issue with waiting. What I have an issue with is the way in which I have been treated from, well, from since I made the call a few days ago. I spoke with a customer service advisor who informed me that there was nothing that she could do. After explaining the situation and that none of the answers to my questions were on the, the FAQ and that she, all I merely wanted from her was an order number in reference to my order, she told me there was nothing that she could do. No computer system, no nothing, as far as she's concerned. She passed me over to the email address, to the website, anywhere but where she, you know, anywhere but there, basically. After a long and slightly heated debate as to why she should help me and not fuck me off, she decided that she was prepared to have a look and give me a ring back. Guess what? Two days go by, she hasn't done nothing. So I called back again and went through the same... Right, you know, the same procedure again, basically. Being told, go and visit the website. Yeah, no, there's no point in me visiting the website because I ain't got a freaking order number. Give me a freaking order number, then I'll visit your website. Nothing. Couldn't help me, didn't want to enter me. In fact, went as so far as to say, to the, the customer service advisor I spoke to this time, went so far as to tell me that I have to wait, and that's that. And nothing she can do, and basically nothing I can do either. No escalation procedure, no managers, no nothing. Well, Guess what, doll face? I don't take kindly to being told what to do when my money is not getting spent in the right way. So, what did I do? I buggered off and um, gone to PayPal and it's gone through as a dispute. I hate doing that. I don't want my money back. Do you, do you see where I'm coming from? I don't want the money back. If I, did, if I wanted the money back, I wouldn't have spent the money in the first place. So, for me, this is a complete wa royal waste of life precious life that I, I could have done other things do you know what I mean I could have sat and you know grinded on Final Fantasy for, for the amount of time that I spent wasting away on the on the line waiting for a Raspberry Pi that ain't going to come, you know, come along the irony of the situation is, is that on eBay there are plenty of Raspberry Pis there's two or three or four at the moment yes they're more expensive to the tune of 10 or 15 pounds more at the end of the day I'm going to get it next day I, do you know what I mean I'm going to get it so I don't have an issue with that. I didn't have an issue with waiting until I was cheeked and spoken to like I was off someone's shoe. Don't appreciate it. Don't like it. Never have, never will. So uh, the pride kicked in, unfortunately. She, they are getting my money. Thank you and good night. So um, for me, I just want to make the point as clear as I can. And in a way, I'm, I'm not really bothered about the potential discussion that RS may have with me about, the, about it. The reality of the situation is this. Irish components are selling a product that they don't have. They have no stock of it. And they're fulfilling, they're asking people to order things off their website. 
and they don't have the orders, they don't have the, the product to fulfill the order. Yet you can still go on there to this second, as this video has been recorded, you can go on there and order a Raspberry Pi for personal or business use on Irish Components Raspberry Don't bother, don't do it. Do not do it. To all my subscribers, to anyone who watches this video casually, do not order from Irish Components. If you have ordered from Irish Components, cancel the order. They will not help you until they are ready. Not, not until you want the stuff, right? No amount of discussion, money, anything will make that change. So my strong and fervent advice to you all is to, well, for want of a better expression, piss them off. Get rid of them. And for that reason, that's what, why I'm doing this video, basically. It's, it's going back into the realms of a rant, and you know what? I'm happy with that. Um, for anyone who has any kind of enthusiasm about the Raspberry Pi as I did I don't want your, I don't want your enthusiasm waning by having to be sat waiting for this stupid company to, to get the finger out so please for all of all things holy do not go to Irish components if you value your life and time and money and I'm going to leave it there have a good one and the next video will be better I promise see you in a bit